Hi, I'm Kyle Dahl, and today I'm going to be introducing the newest product from Mikado. Mikado has been a pioneer in the model helicopter industry and have introduced many new and innovative products over the years. One innovation, and by far the most popular product by Mikado, is the V-Bar. The V-Bar, which was introduced in 2007, was the first worldwide flybarless system and today is one of the most popular systems available. Mikado is proud to present their latest innovation. This new product is as novel and groundbreaking as the original V-Bar was back in 2007 and will open up an entire new chapter in the programming ability between radio transmitter and model helicopter. This product is called V-Bar Control and it is the new radio system by Mikado. With V-Bar Control, pilots can now use the radio to perform all programming that was previously adjusted via the PC, control panel, or Bluetooth module. Using a bi-directional connection to the radio, all functions contained in the V-Bar software can now be viewed, adjusted, and controlled via your radio in real time. This is a really new, exciting product from Mikado, so now I'll take some time to walk you through some of the features of this radio. One of the first things you notice about the design of the radio, apart from the big V for V-Bar, is the large display and dial, which are both key features in the functionality of the radio. Since the main purpose of this product is being able to program via the radio, Mikado felt it very important to have a good display. The display has a powerful LED backlight along with an integrated light sensor, which provides the best outdoor readability and luminance in all light conditions, especially bright sun. In addition to a good display, having a good program control method was also needed. They decided to use a large ball bearing dial that is for turning on and off and entering all controls. Since this is such a key feature in the programmability of this radio, Mikado has paid it a lot of attention so that it's both very functional and easy to use. Another important aspect to any radio controller is how it feels in your hands. To ensure a comfortable fit, Mikado's implemented delicate rubber surfaces that provide good grip and comfortable feeling. Additionally, the front switches are adequately spaced from each other to allow fingers of any size to fit. All components of this radio are manufactured and assembled in Germany, with the exception of the gimbals. The gimbals of a radio need to be of the highest quality to be long-lived and reliable. Mikado was proud to resort to an experienced Japanese supplier for this component. They are four times ball raced, which will provide smooth control and long life. To ensure a secure transmission in all environments, V-Bar Control has implemented a two antenna scheme. One is housed in the front part of the radio and the other is in the antenna case. They are placed at 90 degrees to each other to provide the best coverage in any orientation. The V-Bar Control radio is standardly equipped with six three position switches along with two rotary knobs. You can freely assign individual functions to these switches. For those who use a neck strap while flying, the neck strap holder has been positioned exactly on the center of gravity. Additionally, there's two other positions you can mount it to adjust the angle of the radio to your personal liking. Sound effects and tones play an important role in the communication between radio and pilot. For optimal sound, Mikado has integrated a 2 watt speaker which puts out full body sound and is especially suited for voice output. An adjustable vibration engine can optionally be used to communicate warnings and reminders to the pilot. V-Bar Control is powered by a 1S 4000 mAh LiPo battery, which lasts up to 10 consecutive hours of use. The included charger can charge the battery in under one hour. Additionally, there is a USB port that you can charge through. The mechanical features of the radio are really nice, but the truly unique features lie within the software abilities. The software of the V-Bar Control radio follows the same structure of the PC software. Therefore, pilots familiar with V-Bar setup will find all the same adjustments and features that they already have experience with. The navigation is extremely clear and simple to use. For initial setups, the well-known V-Bar setup wizard is used. In this way, helicopters can be set up within minutes. Adjusting parameters via external devices is now a thing of the past. All parameters can now be adjusted on the fly via the V-Bar control radio. An even easier way of adjusting parameters is to use the knobs at the top of the radio. You can assign up to two parameters at once to the knobs simply by opening the desired parameter and rotating the knob you want it to be on. Adjusting parameters via external devices is now a thing of the past. 
All parameters can now be adjusted on the fly via the V-Bar control radio. V-Bar control comes with bank switching for three different flight modes. The active bank is displayed in the main menu and in relevant parameter menus. Bank two. Bank one. The vibration analyzer and event log have certainly been some of the most popular features of the V-Bar. So of course, they've been included in the V-Bar control radio. To demonstrate this, we have a Logo 480 with an unbalanced tail rotor. As you can see, you can read the vibration level of your heli directly off the display of your radio. V-Bar Control is obviously capable of doing wireless buddy boxing, but Mikado was able to take this one step further. This feature has been named Model Sharing. To help explain this, I will give an example using V-Bar Designer, Willy Roar. Hi. So let's say I'm at a flying field or an event, and I want my friend, or in this case Uli, to fly my helicopter for me to see how he likes it or to test it. In the past this wasn't possible, because I fly mode 1 and Kyle flies mode 2. But this is no longer an issue with model sharing feature of V-Bar control now. Let us demonstrate. You see how I now have control of my helicopter. All I have to do is simply switch off my radio, and then Uli will switch on his radio, and bind to my model. And now I have control over Kyle's model, so I can just use my radio to test his helicopter. What makes model sharing possible is the fact that all of the V-Bar flight parameters are stored within the V-Bar itself, and only the personal radio preferences such as stick mode, stick tensions, switch assignments, etc. are stored in the radio itself. So with this feature I can simply just test Kyle's helicopter but with the comfort and settings of my radio. V-Bar Control offers several telemetry functions which are visible on the main screen or can be told to you via the loudspeaker. Receiver 7.9 volt. There is the standard receiver voltage, but also there will be the option for measuring current usage, RPM, speed, and much more in the future. For those who want to use this new product from Mikado, you can still use your existing V-Bars. You only need to add the V-Bar Link satellite which plugs into the control panel port of your V-Bar. This allows your existing V-Bars to communicate with Mikado's new V-Bar Link 2.4 GHz protocol from the V-Bar control radio. As I've been preparing my logo helicopters for the 2014 competition season, I've really enjoyed the ease and convenience of setting them up with the V-Bar control radio. So we hope you enjoyed this video, and we hope you too will soon enjoy your new Mikado V-Bar control radio.